Can you explain why grains are not healthy? I find it very difficult planning my meals without grains. We've talked about this so many times. I have multiple videos, so we'll link that video up where I talk about it in full detail. But to give you like the Coles Notes version of it, basically what's happening in your body when you eat grains is the insulin spike that you're gonna get from it. The insulin goes up, then you're gonna be storing a lot of the calories as potential fat if you overspill. But also, a lot of these grains are refined, so a lot of the, the nutrients is taken out of it. People are intolerant to gluten, like when I eat grains, I know I've ate grains. Like it's just you, feel it you in know, your belly. you know, I eat grains know. as well. <laughs> we go to bed at night, um, and we both know. It's not doesn't mean, guys, that you can never eat grains again. So back in 2013, I filmed this. Here are four reasons why you should avoid grains to live lean. Get out of here, grains. Yes. And looking back at it now, I kind of cringe because I was very absolute in my saying that you should avoid grains to live lean. And although I still stand behind everything I said, I just wish I switched the word avoid to limit because living lean is all about lifestyle. So you need to find the balance. Just make sure you earn them. Earn them. Ooh, you gotta work for it. <laughs> <laughs> It's not an all or nothing thing. I have to keep talking about that, about a lot of things when it comes to living lean. It's not like you can never have a piece of bread. Just make better choices. And the healthy versus not healthy thing is not so black and white either. It's not, It's like no. you can't just put grains in the unhealthy category because they are healthier than it's, Twinkies. Yes, exactly. You know, healthier so if, than McDonald's. So if you're going to fill out your plate with grains, or if mm -hmm. you're going to make a sandwich, then choose Ezekiel bread over white bread. There's just like different we levels. We still have Ezekiel bread in our refrigerator. Like, it's not like we don't eat any grains. Yeah, there's different different levels when we say don't eat grains we just, just don't want you cut it back yeah, yeah it's like there's so many other foods out there that you can be filling yourself up with people are like I'm bored with eating the same foods yeah it's like you would have to like you could eat a brand new food that you've never had every single day of the year and you still wouldn't cover all mm -hmm. the foods that you yeah. could eat like all oh, the different vegetables all the different I know. fruits what video we should link up is the grain alternatives video yeah. number and so there it gives you different like grain alternatives yeah. for foods that you're probably used to eating with grains yeah. it gives you an alternative for what to eat instead yeah, so, because there are other things that are better. So to, and to say that you're finding it very difficult to plan your meals without grains, I mean, like my Live Lean cookbook has over, yeah, two, like no cookbook. over 200 yeah. recipes grain-free. So you'll never yeah, have that to, cookbook is, you would never have to yeah. eat grains again if you just have that cookbook and follow the and recipes in it, follow the meal plan in it. Like um, yeah. the idea that people are confused, I get it, but if you have a cookbook and a guide, like everything we always talk about, having a plan, having a plan, right. you can accomplish anything. So Because a lot of things are difficult when you don't have a plan, but once you have a plan, it becomes like simple. Yeah. They tell me that I'm never gonna make it. They want me to do something that can make sense. They hate when